Welcome to the Blues basketball media coverage for the NBL 1 round 4 double header between the Frankston Blues who are tonight hosting the Dandenong Rangers in this Anzac Day Eve clash. I'm Damien Arsenis from thepickandroll.com.au and joining me tonight again is Ash. Ash Arnott, now how are we Ash? Damien, it's good to be here. I'm excited for the uh, pre-Anzac Day clash. Ready to go. Yeah, so of course Ash lives and breathes basketball of course in his role with Basketball Victoria. Just, just absolutely killing it. High performance role, I believe. Yes, that is true. But tonight, big Anzac Day clash with the traditional rivals, the Rangers. And coming in, it's been you know, totally opposite fortunes for both clubs. The Rangers come in four and zip into tonight, looking to maintain an unbeaten record. And the Blues, on the other hand, are one and three after going down to Bendigo last week. And of course, Bendigo, probably one of the hardest teams to go up against right now. Haven't lost a game in over a year. Well, they're still rolling from last year's championship <laughs> win and nobody's figured out how to guard Richards and Wilson so far, but tough game. They, they were competitive, uh, managed to bring back that deficit at the end of the game, but I'm excited to see what the Blues have tonight and then the Rangers, that, that three-headed monster in Clydesdale, Cole and Planeta have been getting it done in those first four games. Yeah, well, they're all going to be there in the action tonight. Just running, going through the Rangers starting lineup: Amy Clydesdale, Rebecca Cole, what a tan they've been... Uh, so far this season, Taylor Gilliam, Colin Planetta again, very good player there in the starting lineup with Rosie. How do we say it? Uh, Fadjlovic. Oh, very well done. And of Fadjlovic. course, for the Blues, it's the same starting lineup we've pretty much seen all season. Steph Reed, Saray Taylor, Tori Jackson, Taylor Lee, and Joanna Smith as we tip off round four of NBL One. And it's going to be Rangers ball. So Clydesdale hands off. Planeta gives it down. And it's going to be in Cole's hands. The competition's leading scorer. W wide open three on the wing is long. And it's tracked down by Reed. So the Blues now on their first touch on the offensive end. Smith in the corner. Fires from deep. Just rattles out. And now Cole looking to attack. He goes straight inside. Lovely move. And Colleen Planeta gets the first score of the night. Great cut there by Planeta. Nice and hard. Got to get it inside the paint, especially these first couple of plays. I thought both Blues and Rangers just settled on that first shot. So Reed off balance. Gets it down low. A swing out to the wing. Smith fires again. Rims out. And it's Rangers through Gilliam. Oh, she's going to go all the way. Good defense there by Reed. So now Reed pushing the tempo. She's going to return the favor. Nearly gets it to drop. Draws a foul on Clydesdale, and she'll head to the line for two. So we're seeing some end-to-end -end stuff early. Well, that was much better there by the Blues. Just Steph Reed getting two feet in the paint. Thought they settled those first two shots from three. Didn't really get any penetration downhill to make the defense shift. The first time she does, Damien, they get straight to the line and points on the board. And Reed's been so effective this season of actually getting into the paint despite her size as well. As you saw there, she does a really good job of using her body and that outside foot pivot, being able to get a, forcing herself away from the defender. And that, that might be the last time we see that tonight. So Cole probing, kicks it top of the key. That's short. And it's Smith. Cleans up and hands off to Lee. So we just mentioned Cole. Cole comes into tonight's game averaging 32 points a game. And it's been absolutely phenomenal this season. Really carrying on her form both from Siebel last year and the WNBL. Well, we all know she is very, very, very good going right. So I'm interested to see what Frankson girl is going to be able to step up and make her go left and see what she can do. Well, one-on-one, -on -one, she's probably one of the best players in the competition this season. Certainly very hard to stay in front of her, and she's very good at riding contact. And her running mate here, Clydesdale, when, when Cole doesn't have the ball, she seems to have the ball, and she's averaging... 24 and a half points a game and showing some new things she can do on the offensive end. And she comes in after a season at Adelaide. 
So pretty good season there too, given they made the grand final. So it's early days, one point lead to the Rangers. Jackson to Reed. Feeds it inside. Good finish inside there by Taylor. Better ball movement by the Blues. Now the ball shifted from side to side. They've got action going in and out. Making the defense shift. Oh, lovely back cut. Cole. Well, she went left that time, but still shot it right. <laughs> still made it. <laughs> so Lee doing the ball handling duties this time. And that's an errant pass there by Taylor. Certainly not what the Blues wanted on that possession. Really unforced. It's a right idea. Lee just had to keep coming with that uh, up that flare cut right there. She was separating well, but then stopped. I believe it was Reed tried to read it and pass it. Well, no pun intended there. <laughs> but tried to make the read and throw it to where she was supposed to be cutting to. So it was the right idea. Just wasn't able to execute in the end. Oh, able to split the double team. Very nicely done by Cole. I think we're going to see a lot of pick and roll action with Cole tonight. Oh, she's just so hard to stop. Lee, good probing. Tried to dump it inside to Jackson, but it's picked off and it's Clydesdale. Hands off to Cole, gives it back. Nice little one-two punch. And the two of the three-headed monster there in Cole and Clydesdale just continuing to add to the, add to the scoreboard. Reed, wide open. Ah, oh, took a peek and decided not to go in. Cole. I'll tell you what, Taylor did a great job of staying in front of Cole there. And you would have seen just there that left foot was slightly higher trying to tell Cole go back to that left hand. So it was really good D by Taylor there and Cole just lost her balance and, and, and threw one up. But, you know, Damien, in the past couple of weeks, I've actually seen him make that, so <laughs> I'm sure Coach White's like, I'll live with that. So Rangers leading by five as we near halfway mark of the first period, as we see. Nice hard foul there. And Rangers just in a 1-3-1 one -one zone there, changing up their defences. So Isabel Anstey into the game now. There's a name familiar to most Australian basketball fans. Of course, the daughter of Chris Anstey. Doing a pretty good job of making a name for herself. Excellent job. She's actually just fresh off a NBA uh, camp in Florida with all some of the best talented uh, female athletes around the world. The NBA Academy, I believe, was running that one. Yep. So we see Clydesdale. Kick out. Anstey thought about launching the long shot. Shot clock's running down. Mid-range is off target. Anstey kept it alive. But it's going to go Blues way. Blues ball. So both teams have got pretty youthful lineups tonight. Yeah, both teams welcome back. A couple of the Vic Metro girls who have fresh off uh, their gold medal win up at Townsville last week. So they're coming in for their first games for NBA, NBA one season. In uh, Erin Riley for the Frankston Blues and also Leia Hannaford for the Danong Rangers. I'm sure we'll see them checking sooner rather than later in this game. Well, certainly winning form is good form. And those under 18 championships as you know more than anyone else maybe in this building. <laughs> Was pretty talented lot as we see Lee fly from the corner. And the Blues have been off target from deep early in this contest. We see mid ranger goes up and in. Rosie Fadler. Fad Fadlovich. I really like this by the Rangers, this 1 3 1 they're sitting on. They're, they're forcing the ball out of Steph Reed's hands in this 1 3 1 zone. And very strong finish by Taylor. Road a bump by Anstey. May have been lucky to get away with not being called for a foul. I like the physicality of the game so far. The ref's just letting the play. That's what we come here to watch. Again, Taylor doing a great job of staying in front. 
This time it was Clydesdale. And great, great offensive rebound. Just couldn't capitalise there by Fadlovich. So Reed, she's probing. Corner three. This is a more open shot. And that was short. So Smith's now fired off four from deep and missed every one of them. The positive sign is, other than, I will say this, the first two were probably rushed, but that is a good shot. That's the Smith. shot you want. That's the shot we want. So Coach May will be happy and will keep continue to uh, continue to encourage that shot from the quarter. It was in rhythm, the board going in, then kicked out. That, that's what you want to see from Smith. Certainly is. So the first time out of the game with 4.23 to play in the first. It's the Rangers leading by five, 11 to six. Leading scorers of the game are Taylor and Cole. They've both got four points. And it's been, look, it's been an up and down game early. Blues have been firing from deep and haven't been able to hit so far. And the Rangers just more efficient getting it done inside. So we talk about coming into tonight's game. The Rangers are sitting pretty four and zip. In second place behind Bendigo, who have just an absolute juggernaut at the moment. And the Blues are looking to lift their way up the table. They're sitting in fourth last with a 1-3 and three record. But at least they've got a win. This time last season, they were still searching. Yeah, and they're still a young team, Damien. You know, obviously tonight they're, they're without their veteran uh, forward centre in Fowler. They're still waiting on their second import. So it is going to be difficult for, for them against this veteran players in Cole, Clydesdale and especially Planeta. But as you can see Taylor's really stepping up in this first quarter. She's battling. She's getting in to the paint. Uh, her defense on the other end is, is proving to be hard to get past. So, But she can't keep doing that by herself all night. So someone else from Frankston's really going to have to step up. And it looks like they're going to look to a couple of these young players in. Bora just checking into the game and also Riley. She's going to have to defend bigger. She's a garbage. She's going to have to defend bigger tonight. It'll be great to see what she's got. Well, it's a great challenge. They're going up against the likes of Clydesdale and Cole in the backcourt for the Rangers as they miss the second on that free throw. But I think you're right, and, and you mentioned the Blues are a young team. Rangers are too, but the Blues are still missing Sharisha Richards, their MVP from last season. She's still going to come back. And Courtney Wilkins as well, returned from college. I'm sure, I'm sure Coach May can't wait to get them back into the team. <laughs> that was well short. The Blues are pushing it. And we're just going to settle things down. Riley. First meaningful touch of the game. In fact, of the season. Great hesitation move. Reed, another mid-rangers off. So the Blues are... A very cold from the field at the moment. But again, it was a wide open shot. It was good by Reed. She's doing a great job of trying to create or fragile for the for three. No hesitation and margins out to nine. The difference in the, the couple of shots there from Bora and Fadjilovic is she was able to be in a stance, ready to shoot and shot it in rhythm where Bora both times have been kind of falling backwards. Footwork was going backwards. So they're getting the right shots. They just need to be ready. Again, Taylor managed to get inside but couldn't finish with a left. And great running of the floor by Anstey, and she can't finish either. It was really poor D-trans there by Franks, and easy Anstey's able to get the rebound, rim run, and finish, or have a shot to finish at the other end. Frankson needs to do better and find locate their player a lot earlier. Lee. From the elbow. And that's off target. And that's a soft turnover there by the Rangers. So the Blues are getting open looks. Just can't make them. And if they had made half of those, we've got a tied ball game. They're going to get another crack. Neither team's over the limit. As we near the end of the first. Reed, she goes all the way. That was tough. Great offensive rebound. By Riley, and she misses her, her first opportunity to score. Need to finish that one on the left hand. Oh, good screen there by Anstey. Smith really came up second best on that. Still feeling the effects. That's not the first and will not be the last hard screen <laughs> Anstey sets for this season. Of course, Anstey was a 
development player with the Rangers WNBL team. Reed getting inside again. And Reed's just so crafty there. Just hesitations, shoulder movements. And what she does a really good job, she's able to finish away from the defence. So as you can see there, she had a great inside out hezzy. That inside foot went in. It's kind of known as a, a veer step. That veer goes into the defender. Then it's away, making it a lot harder for Planeta to get her hands on that. Riley. Kick out. Bora for the two, and that's off target. Again, Bora's momentum just falling back into that shot. Another turnover by the Rangers in the backcourt. Another Braden fade. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quite sure uh, what happened there. Well, Cole went to pass it, passed to no one, went and tapped it back again. Got called for the double dribble. Yeah. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Riley for three. Hey, there you go. And that's what Erin Riley does. She's been doing it for the last couple of years in the junior program and national championships. She can really stretch to the floor. And that's her range. Well, her first points as a senior blue. Much needed too. In the last possession, Smith got coat hanged by Hansty on the screen. This time she tried to fight her way through and has been pinged for a foul. It's probably just a bit of frustration coming through. They're certainly making a living at that high high pick in this game early. Yeah, and when you have talented guards like Clydesdale and Cole coming off those, of course you're going to set that high pick. Great read by Riley there defensively. but And then throws it straight away to Cole. Not, not quite the offensive reach he was looking for. And the wide open layup is blown. Well, we've seen that a few times. Colin Planeta this time. Toe over the line. And that was an ambitious pass by Cole. Right idea, just had a bit too much vol velocity on it. So Blues get another reprieve. Chance to eat into the six-point margin just before quarter time. Taylor, fall away. That's an air ball. And Planeta advances. Clyde's down. Now setting it up. Long range twos off target by Planeta and Riley cleans up. Riley certainly looks comfortable out there. You know, this would. Well, she's used to playing against high quality players. She's played against some talented players, especially last week. So she will feel comfortable playing at this speed. It's just getting used to maybe that different length. It makes a nice little runner there. Beat the shot clock. But like you said, she's definitely finding, finding her feet quickly in this game, which is good to see. And that's going to be the end of the first. So that buzzer-beating shot by Riley just before quarter time closes the margin to four. It's 11.15 at quarter time. And heading into the break, the leading scorer of the game is Rebecca Cole. She's got five points. She's also got two assists. And for the Blues, it's Ray Taylor's got four. Riley has quickly up to five points as well. So an entertaining first quarter. And Ash, looking ahead to this one, we've seen some really good ball screens or on-ball screens from the Rangers. And as you said, with some talented guards, are we going to see just more of that? Yeah, well, it's a clear emphasis of Coach White and the Rangers. They've got quality guards, so they want to make sure they're getting them in the best situation to try and score. And when you have a quality big in, in Planeta and Ansi, especially Ansi's screening ability, you're going to get some great shots. Planeta's really dangerous because she's talented at getting into the paint, but she's elite at that elbow and short corner shot. What they are doing a really good job of their spacing, which is what I think Frankston needs to improve in this second quarter. The ball's not moving as much, but their spacing's really off. You would have seen at the, that last play... Uh, for Frankston before Aaron Riley had to get creative at the high elbow. They went for the handoff back door, but there was another player in the way, so that spacing's really poor right now, which is creating a lot more contested shots than what they would want. So for the Frankston this quarter, 
I'm sure Coach May's going over. Like, we need to get better space and create some more gaps. And also talk it to a bigs about after they screen, whether it's an on-ball or a, a back screen, to create that separation, allow more gaps. We've seen Bora get a few uh, pick-and-pops actions there. but and, and Taylor Lee, who got that back screen into the flare, but their separation from the ball handler has been uh, very short which just allowing Rangers' defense to be able to defend too. So if they could fix that space, and I think a lot of those shots will become a little bit more uncontested, allow them to shoot a little bit in rhythm. Then for Danny and I, they've just had a couple of brain fades. That This lead could easily be 9 to 10 right now. They had a couple of brain fades in that backcourt. And then just Planeta missing an open wide, a wide open layup and Fadjilovic missing a layup. These are veterans of the game who don't normally miss those, but... It is a special night, a special occasion. The game does, does get played in that first quarter a little bit quicker. So we should be a great second quarter. And we're underway. Strong left drive, creates contact and finishes. So a good strong play there by Matty Pulley. And you see that <laughs> went into the post. Everyone thought the handoff was going. Everyone shifted thinking that she was going to get the ball back. I believe it was Clydesdale there, going to get the ball back. And Pulai just made a great read. Certainly did, and she's got a chance for the traditional three-point play. Can't get it to go. But a good strong move there for the Rangers. Get the scoring underway in the second. Taylor is left wide open. She can't hit. Riley came up with a steal. And gets it back again. Rangers thought she was still out of court. They got a short shot clock here because they got the rebound. And this time they're going to be pinged for stepping out of court. And again, Riley has just seemed to be a bit of a spark plug here for the Blues. Yeah, and she's definitely in every play right now, making the right impact on the game. It's, uh, it's brought a lot more energy to the Frankston bench. And it just adds another depth player for him. It allows it, Coach made it change up in rotation, which is good. Good defensive play there by Jackson. And the Blues are off and running. So Reed, Arguably the Blues best player this season to date. And she goes all the way and gets it to fall. Tough finish. That's a, that is a tough finish. Steph Reed really digging deep into her box of tricks. As we see, Riley head to the bench and Lee steps back in for the Blues. That was some really good minutes by Riley either side of quarter time. So Reed makes the, the bonus, narrows the margin to three. Reed coming into tonight's game, averaging uh, 20 points and almost six assists a game. So definitely the Blues' most effective player this season. So we see some nice action by the Rangers and Planeta finishes inside. Good job by Cole to keep her feet, keep that pivot alive and Planeta just reading off her beautiful. And there she goes again. And you could see Clydesdale talking to her teammates there. They've got to close the gap on Reed, not give her so much room to go to work in at the offensive event. Again, going straight into Planeta, and she goes left again. She just does a great job working off the guards. You would see, she didn't have a shot straight away. Gives it back to Cole, middle pick and roll, and she scores. But again, it's the movement off the screen that seems to be going well, and Reed again. They better make some changes in how they're guarding Steph Reed. She's just doing what she wants right now. In fact, I'd argue it's getting easier for her. As Beck Cole just muscles her way inside, just a bully. You can't stop her when she's going right. Once she decides she's going, she's going. Again, so good at riding that contact. Just forcing it in. So the pace has picked up a little bit here on the scoring side as Reed now steps from beyond the arc. Just misses. And Smith almost gets it back for the Blues. So Pooley steps out and Fadlovich back into the game for the Rangers. 
as Smith sits out. And I think it's Riley back in. So even, even the screens off the ball by the Rangers, they're really working them right now. So we see Clydesdale from deep. And Reed just lost it there. The concentration was all on Cole off that flex cut. And some good screen-to-screen -screen action for Rangers, and Clydesdale was able to capitalise. Well, the Rangers are making the Blues work extremely hard off the ball as Reed with a nice little dump off to Taylor. Just can't get that one to go either. Cole swings it. Gilliam inside. Hits the rim on the way through. But, oh, Clydesdale just puts, tucks it in one hand and goes all the way. Corner three by Lee. And it's Riley getting inside and finishes strong. That's tough over Planeta. Did a good job of using her body to create that separation and finding the gap to score. What she's doing really well right now, Damien, is just getting her hands in the play. As we see Planeta return the favour at the other end on Taylor. But, yeah, she's been a pretty good player so far for Riley. If I'm a Blues fan, I'm liking what I'm seeing of Riley. Yeah, she's doing a great job, and, and you can obviously see she's made she's picked up the offense here. They're, they're moving the ball better. The Blues are doing a great job at their defense. They've just they're they're guarding the first action really well, and then after that they're losing the communication, and it's just breaking down from there. That last play where Clydesdale was able to split the gap, they were playing two on one on that weak side, and there was just no communication. So. With the offense getting better for Frankson right now, yes, fantastic. We want to continue that, but defense does have to change. And as you allude to, you know, they're doing better a job offensively, but the Rangers are now up by 10, leading 30 to 20 and, and, into this timeout. And Coach White will be happy with the, for the Rangers, will be happy with the, what's happening at the offensive end, but I'm sure they're discussing how they're going to get the ball out of Steph Reed's hands. Reed is the one that's been damaging at the offensive end for the Blues, being able to get two feet in the paint scoring, finding that open shot. So they need to do something, whether they chuck a blitz, a double team out of the ball screen, or they keep running a little bit earlier on that help, they need to change something up defensively. And to be fair for the Blues, yeah, throughout the first and the second quarters, when Reed's got in and kicked it out, they've had open shots. They just haven't been able to capitalise on those opportunities. And that will come. That will come. That, like you said, the pre-Anzac Day game's always a special <laughs> one. Uh, there is a lot of emotion, and, and the nerves and the the way the game's played is always a lot faster, so they will play into the game, especially in that second half. They just need to trust their open shots and continue. Hey, we say, shoot to shoot. Shoot when you're hot, shoot to get hot, and that's what they need to keep doing. So Planeta make the three-point play at the other end as we resume in this second period. Of course, the Blues wearing their Anzac Day Guernseys today. The, as we see Bora try to fly in with the offensive rebound. Just ends up out of court. But, yes, he's paying tribute to the Anzacs with their camouflage uniforms tonight. I like it. It looks good. Cole. She tried to flip it over the top to Planeta, and it's tapped out. I like the change up there. Just going into his own. I'm not sure if that was a 1-2-2 two, two or 3-2. It was hard to say. There wasn't a lot yeah. of movement on it. Yeah, all kind of stuck. I know people listening at home or watching probably think that's the same thing, but there is slight differences in the two zones. Blocked by Planeta. Set Cassie Borer out. Cole at the other end for three. Beck Cole makes it pay. And she's just demonstrating why she's in the Opal squad, fresh from the Gold Coast last week. So she's just doing what she wants offensively. As we see, Taylor gets inside and flips it up and in. So some good plays at both ends. So it's Taylor's up to six, but on that last triple by Cole, and she's going to add to it there, she's now up to 12 points to be the leading point scorer of the game. Well on the way to get a 32-point average. <laughs> the way she's going, she might have more than that tonight. Shot clock's running down. Lee 
She's going to go alone. Oh, hands off to Bora. It's going to be waved off. A foul was called earlier. But a good heads up play by Lee, nonetheless. So Fadlovich picks up a foul. It's her first. No one's in foul trouble. In fact, we haven't had many fouls. I'm a big believer, Damien. If you don't know the refs are there, they're doing a fantastic job. And I think these three refs are officials. We call them officials, sorry. I think they're doing a fantastic job tonight and reading how the game's being played. I think you're exactly right. It's great defensive play by the Rangers again. Not quite sure who that was. Leia Hannaford in for a first game, fresh off a Vic Metro gold medal. There you go. Planeta with a turnaround is off target. Lee probing. And now it's back to Reed. She loses the handle. And a good hands in by Planeta is going to call Hell Bull. It's going to go back to the Blues. But again, got into Reed's hand. Everyone stood still and watched. Yeah, there is a lack of movement right now, but the way Reed's playing, everyone's just kind of grabbed the popcorn and said, do you think? <laughs> well, well, there's plenty of people in the stands tonight here at Frankston. Normally, we don't see the stands full until the men's game, but certainly there's not a lot of space left here as we have a timeout called with 3.47 to play, just nearing half time, and it's the Rangers out to 14. And, and Ash, what's your take on the situation right now for the Blues, given they're trailing by 14? Early on in that second quarter, I was really liking what they were bringing offensively. You kind of just touch on it before. They've become a little bit more stagnant now and just looking to Steph Reed to try and get creative. Her better chance of being creative is if, if there's ball, better movement off ball. Then I just really like what Dan was doing there. We discussed it earlier with Taylor has a huge job of trying to guard. She's got Fadjilovic, uh, Anstey, Planeta. Planeta and... Dino's just doing a really good job of playing off the bigs and, and forcing Taylor to come out. A couple of times they've scored inside and it's been against one of the blue smaller players in a Reed or a Lee. So I really like what Rangers are doing offensively. Blues have to stick in it. Like I said, they're getting good shots. They are getting open shots. They are getting good shots. They need to trust themselves. Shoot the ball in rhythm. Shoot it confidently. They will start to drop. So it's going to be Blues ball out of this timeout. So Cole Anstey, Lopez, Hannaford and Fadlovich on the court for the Rangers out of the timeout. And the shot clock's down. Lee fires. It's going to be a violation. And that was just a lack of awareness of what the shot clock was at. So for the Blues, Reed Taylor, Jackson Lee and Tara Bolsey for her first minutes of the game. Blues are sitting in the 2-3 zone. Again, I like to change up. Just making Rangers have to do something different other than that middle pick and roll. Tough shot by Cole. Nearly gets it to go. Anstey comes over the top. Hands it back to Cole, who drew nothing but air. And Lee manages to poke it away. Back to Lee. Hands off. Reed for three. Oh, that's in. Oh. I was nearly behind that, and it looked good. But another missed opportunity for the Blues. You're right, it's made the Rangers change up a bit and have a think about what they're going to run. So Blues now in a 3-2, so they're changing from their 2-3 to a 3-2, but they just can't let... They can't let Beck Cole just get an open shot. Allowed her to go up in rhythm, and... She's just too good. She's just going to knock that down. She's going to knock that open three all day. You can't go under the screen if they're trying to set one. And at the other end, Taylor's way off target. So the lead really starting to balloon a bit here. Just before half time. Real danger situation for the Blues. Fadlovich wide open. So from the short corner, Fadlovich hits. And it's a 19-point game in favour of the visitors. Reed. This time she gets it to go. 
from the very same spot she was a bit long before. As we see, Lopez. She's just about turned it over. She has. Reed came from behind. She's going to get hand off Lee. Kick it back, kick it back. There you go. That was too late. Reed really wanted to get that ball earlier. Nice handoff inside to Taylor. Just good awareness by Steph Reed to find her open teammate inside. What Reed does a really good job, and you see a lot of young basketballers here watching. She just keeps her eyes up. She uses her eyes as a fake, and you can see the defense reacting to where she's looking, and she's able to use her body control to get into places and find the open shot or, or open player. But as she goes again, her eyes are just darting everywhere right now. She's looking. She's seeing the floor really well. Corner three's going up by Taylor. Can't get it to rattle in. Look at Anstey pushing the pace. Cole wants the three on transition. Just a bit strong. I, I think Cole's seeing that that rim. It looks like a it looks like a the, oh, the way she's black been, hole. The way she's been playing, Damien, I'd let her shoot. <laughs> well, her confidence is riding high, and so is Steph Reed. Big quarter by Steph Reed. She's up to 15 points, joining Cole. They're really going head to head on the scoreboard. Lopez, game clock down to 15. Anstey gives it down to Fadlovich. Fall away is good. That was a beautiful looking shot by Fadlovich. That was a great sister to sister pass right there from Anstey. And a desperation shot by Reed at the buzzers off. So at half time here at Frankston Stadium, it's 43 30 in favour of the Rangers here on this Anzac Day Eve clash. And Ash, just a quick summary of that first half. Well, I like now the way that the offense finished for Franks to getting the ball in Steph Reed's hands, getting her in ball screens, gets action, all the different stuff. That's what they need to continue with the second half. She is the key player for Franks, and so I'd like to see the ball, everything go through her in the second half. And then for Rangers, they're just doing a really good job of making the right read. They're going in, they're going out. They do have the players to, to be able to make that read, but they're making smart choices, balanced choices. And like we said, Cole's well on her way to be getting her 32. So just running through, Beck Cole, 15 points. She's been involved with everything. She's got six assists as well up to halftime. Colin Planeta has nine. Fadlovich has nine. And the rebound count, they've got Anstey, Planeta, Fadlovich. They've all got five. And for the Blues, Reed's got 15 points. She's got three assists. Could easily have had 10 if they had to hit their shots as well. Well, like you said, they're getting the right shots. What are they shooting? Three of 13 to 23% from three. Couple Nine more, of though. 25 from the field. They've only had four less shots than the Rangers, so they're certainly thereabouts. Taylor's got eight points. She's also got... No, I'm getting my names mixed up. But, of course, Riley's come off the bench as well. Seven points, four rebounds. She's been involved in everything. We're going to have a short break. We'll be back with you for all the second half action on this Anzac Day Eve clash between Frankston and Danny Nong.
So welcome back to this round four NBL One Clash Blues Rangers here on Anzac Day Eve. I'm Damien Arsenis from pickandroll.com.au and Ash Arnott's joining me here from Basketball Victoria. And we're underway. It's a 13-point lead to the Rangers. We see Taylor from deep. It's a long two. That's Jackson. Oh, it was Jackson. My apologies. Saw a flash of pink shoes. They both got pink footwear on tonight. Let's see. Long range shot go in by Taylor Gilliam. Both teams have now settled into their game. A lot more rhythm in those jump shots right now. And better D by Gilliam. Gilliam. Smith draws a foul. It's going to be on Fadlovich. Foul number two. So Smith hasn't been able to get going offensively for the Blues in this contest. Certainly had some open shots early. But it's been this young lady, Steph Reed, and she got called for stepping out of bounds. Back foot just caught the line. This has been a strong debate in, in all basketball circles, I think, for the last couple of months. I've never seen so many players step out of bounds in that corner. Just that lack of awareness. That negative step there by Reed just hurt her on that move. Gilliam fires again. Good box out there by young Jackson on Planeta. It's just great to see so many WNBL players in this league. Just really gives the younger up and coming. Oh, a lovely pass in by Steph Reed to Smith. But on that, that was a really good slash by Smith to get into the paint. And that's Smith's first points for the game, so hopefully she gets some rhythm and now up and about a bit. Her energy's definitely picked up on defense. And Reed's really trying to get her troops fired up. Forcing the turnover. Oh, look at Reed. Go to work. Just the change of pace really undid the defender there, Gilliam, on that possession. Really good Euro step there. Now we've got a bit of a game. Ten points. Momentum's with Frankston, and Danny not gets it back. Well, Planeta's made a living in this game going left. She's gone left every time, and every time she has just about, she scored. And that was just a veteran move there. Feel where the defense is and make the read. So Lee turned it over and then gave up a foul trying to get it back off Cole. It was the right idea, aggressive nature there by Lee, but she was jumping to search instead of keeping her feet and making sure she could make a balanced pass to the right person. Cole gets inside and it's going to be two shots. So Smith has been called for the reach. Her second. And Cole's looking to add to her 15-point tally at the charity strike. But Cole's done it's just such a fantastic job to come back from those knee injuries and really is in the form of a career. Yeah, she's definitely playing some unbelievable basketball right now. And, and so is that young lady, Reed. She seems to be growing in stature nearly every game. And she has, she's now leading a young team, so she's able to work on her leadership skills as well and learning how to carry a team. It, and she did, it, she did it last year, don't get me wrong, she, she, but she's just going to a whole new level, which is great to see. I think it might be time for Coach White to find a new matchup. Maybe the length of Clydesdale might work. But right now, it's, it just doesn't seem to be working. Well, Reed finds Jackson on the perimeter for three. So we see a great box out by Taylor. And we're going to call it a hell ball. So it's going to go Blues way. But again, Reed creating scoring opportunities and some good spacing. Finds the open perimeter shot.
There she goes again. Her body control is just so good. Well, having watched her play all last season, she's definitely gone up a run. Yeah. And maybe spending that off-season, well, you know, Siebel off-season, spending the season with the Rangers has certainly helped. Of course, playing with the WNBL version in the off-season as a development player. And as we talked about before, the offense is now humming for Franks, and it's all about these stops, and they've managed to get two in a row. They could just put a score in, a score on the court now, or they're able to create a foul, but if they could score right here, it definitely makes the game interesting. It certainly does. It's an eight-point ball game. In many ways, that was a smart foul by Gilliam. Found herself mismatched and before they got the ball in, gave up a foul. It's a veteran play. Neither team at the bonus, although Rangers now up to three. So Riley back into the game. Smith, she fires from deep and gets it to go. Timely three-pointer by Smith. Cuts the margin to five. And that's the closest it's been since the first quarter. They're out in the mission now. What I like, the ball, the offense is going through Reed for the Blues. Little handoff to Planeta. Turnaround. That's good. The minute she caught that, that was going in. That's a, that's, that is her money maker right there. So Planeta now into double figures as we see Smith fire again. It's short. Taylor gets a rebound, but it's blocked by Planeta. Gets it back. Kicks it into Smith. She goes the up and under and sent back as well. You're not going to see that very often. No, that, that, that very unlike uh, Cole right there. And Franks has done a good job of creating some stops. Now they're just rushing. They're rushing their offense. They need to settle it down. They can still play with a high tempo, but they need to be under control. And they don't have to get that shot unless it's wide open in the first seven or eight seconds of the shot clock. They can work it, move the ball to find the right shot. They're just not doing that right now. Tough. Opportunity there by Cole, and looks and like it's Jackson's been called. And Rangers doing exactly what we're talking about. Five seconds left in the shot clock. They found the mismatch they wanted in Cole in the post, and now they're going to the line. The reason why Frankson was so successful at the start of that quarter because the ball was going through Reed. Now able to shift the D and then have her attack and putting her in pick and roll. So they need to go. Well, she's on the bench right now, so it'd be a little bit difficult for them. <laughs> Well-deserved break, you must say. 19 points for Reed. She's been phenomenal. I'll be giving her a quick break and get her straight <laughs> back in the game. As Cole makes both. She's now up to 18. Rangers in their 1-3-1 one one zone. Riley puts it on the floor. Tried to hand it off, but... Bora was going the other way. Good ball movement by the Rangers, skipping it across. Fadlovic fires. So Lee. Bora tries to get it to Smith. Riley was open baseline. Lee blocked at the perimeter. Blocked by Smith. Rangers get another chance. Good heads up play defensively by Smith. She certainly lifted her intensity in this period. Anstey kicks it. Top of the key, Clydesdale. Oh, that hurts. Great ball movement by the Rangers. Two feet in the paint, kick out, one more. That's what we teach at the under 12 level. That was fantastic. The extra pass makes a big difference. Good heads up play. Tried to get it inside. So we see Reed back on just as you predicted. She got a quick minute. Now it's time for her to go to work. And in that minute, they closed to within five, and all of a sudden the lead's back out to 12. It's so important that you, you can't give the Rangers much time. They're too talented. They will make you pay. And Bora just went into a roadblock. Don't know who to credit that block to. There was two of them. Clydesdale, pull up, jumper, 
Money. She's not going to miss too many of those. And Clydesdale's just quietly gone about in moving into double figures as well. And she's well and truly on her way to a season average and 24 and a half points a game. Well, certainly Clydesdale hasn't had to do much. It's been Cole. It's been Fadlovich. And Planeta. They're all in double figures for the Rangers. Surprise, the Rangers only got two points off the bench right now. Clydesdale. Good defence by Jackson. Anstey tries to get it to Fadlovich on the down low and misfires. Jackson steps out. Tara Bolsi's back in. Long range threes missed. Tara Bolsi. She gets it again. And Lee will pull it out. And the zone's always a great change up and disruptive defense, but one of the hardest things to do out of a zone is. Reed nearly box gets out. it to go. And they get another offensive rebound. And as you can see, they've given up the three offensive rebounds in the last 30 seconds. Oh, that was way off target. Looks like Anstey may have been called for travel. So it's a 14-point ball game as we near three-quarter time. Lee. Hands off to Reed. Again, little movement by the Blues. Gets it down low. Lovely feed. The first top attempt didn't go, but the second did by Saray Taylor. And you don't need his own offense when you've got Steph Reed. She's just breaking through those gaps like it's nothing. The sad, need, the need to get the ball back to her. Sad thing about it, she won't get the assist on that either. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Fadlovich. Oh, she makes a living from there. And they're just doing such a good job, Danny Nong, of their ability to separate and get space out of their ball screens and Planeta, Anstey, Fadjilovic, they get to the spots where they score from. Taylor loses the handle. Isis Lopez. Clydesdale. She fires from deep. That was long. Anstey comes over the top, gets it. Goes left. Nearly gets it to go too. She'll head to the line to shoot a couple. But just strong play by Anstey, using her size and her strength. Well, the Blues are already small enough, and now they have to find ways to guard Anstey and Fadlovich. I can't. I'll keep butchering. Fadlovich. Fadlovich. Sorry, Rosie. <laughs> I've known her for years, and I continue to butcher her name. So Anstey misses the front end. Has a chance to extend the margin to 15. And that rattles out. So the Blues probably want to get it back to single digits by the end of the period. They really want to have a chance, and there's a lot of holding going on there. Smart play by Taylor. She was just able to hook that arm over LT's shoulder and create the foul. So... Last here, Poe steps in for her first minutes of the game and picks up her first foul. That's a that's a name. You got last here, Poe. She got well. She got five fouls. Might as well use them. Reed. This time loses the handle. So Cole had a nice little break there, and she's going to check back in for the final minute of the third period. The Rangers have an opportunity to really make it tough for the Blues to come back. And they just turn it over. So the young hands of Anstey and 
Papua, turning it over. Yeah, that was a tough pass there for uh, last year to catch. Reed for three. Oh, great offensive rebound by Tarabolsi. Smith goes baseline. Tough runner. And it's Papua running. Cole. She holds it up. Shot clock switched off. Down to 15 on the, sh on the game clock. And this is exactly who you want to have the ball in their hands. Power. Tough jumper. And a foul's call. You don't see that every day. Yeah, that's, that was really good defense by the Blues. They forced, they forced the ball out of Cole's hands and just bailed the Rangers' offense out there. Makes the second. So three seconds on the game clock. Lee! Oh! Nearly got it to go. We had a good uh, angle for that, didn't we? We did. We're right behind it. It wasn't far off the mark, but it's three-quarter time. It's a 15-point ball game. 61-46 in favour of the Rangers, and certainly the Blues have got a lot of work to do. Yeah, well, I like the way they came out after half time. There was clear... There was obviously a clear message from Coach May at half time. Get the ball in to read and, and find ways to get her open. They were into their horns action and, and middle pick and rolls, and they just seem to have gone away from that. They certainly have, and certainly Reed was the architect of, the, of getting the margin back to five, particularly early in that third. She's got 19 points to lead all scorers. She's got six assists. Could quite easily have had a double double already. And Cole, on the other hand, she leads the way for the Rangers. She's got 18 and also six assists as well. So they've been the most dominant players on the court. Yes. And what I really noticed in that third quarter, Damien, is the Rangers are doing a really good job of getting a rim runner to the basket, which now means Frankston's defense has to shut. They have to make that drop step and shift down. Where for the Blues, there's no one really getting their head on the rim. And the ball's only going from side to side, not causing Danny to actually have to scramble or have to rotate in their defense to go defend down. So what I want to see in this last quarter from the Blues is get that get that one player now. It could be Taylor. Uh, maybe it, it could be Tarabolsi going down. It's just forcing the defense have to shift down, creating more space for Reed. But even if that ball does go in, the defense now shifts in. If it goes out, they're now on the attack. They now get to attack a long closeout instead of a one-step hedge, which is a lot harder to beat for the Franks and Blues. Well, certainly when Tarabolsi was on the court, we just saw there that they got offensive rebounds and they haven't really had that all game. Yeah, and we saw more offensive rebounds in that quarter because both teams did go through, through uh, for a zone. Every coach will tell you about that. When you do go to the zone, the one thing you can give up is offensive rebounds because now you're guarding the space and not that individual player. So now with the Twin Towers coming on for the Rangers in Planeta and Ansi, they're saying, OK, no more offensive rebounds. We're going to finish this game right now. And... For the Blues, it seems they've gone a little bit smaller, so it's going to be a tough task for Taylor and sorry, the oh, and Chernish, Chernishoff. Yes, there you go. Is it, we've only seen her limited tonight, but she's got some big minutes to play here in the start of the fourth. Certainly, if the Blues are going to make inroads, it's going to have to start now. So Clydesdale into Anstey, that's easy. And you can't lose contact, Gabe Clydesdale. Way too much room to operate there, and Planeta read off her beautifully. The perfect start for the Rangers. Hand off to Reed. She pulls up and gets it to go. So, again, a good start for the Blues. They've just got to find a way to stop this juggernaut. They've gone to a 2 3 zone. This, oh, no, they haven't. They're just sagging off defensively. Yeah, I think they're sagging off everyone bar Cole. Smart. Dare I say the old boxing one. However, I would not give uh, Clydesdale too much room on that three and then Planeta and Anstey around the elbows and short corners. They better know where, they're, where they are. Well, they're trying something. Poe. Turn around. Oh, she got herself into trouble. 
just for a split second there. She was feeling like Kobe Bryant. <laughs> <laughs> went for the uh, went for the turnaround and realised she didn't have it. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how she goes against Reed. Great opportunity for her to go up against a class player like that. Great hands by Poe. Yeah, cool. Off the ball. And this is going to be a really good lesson for LT here guarding Reed. Now, Reed's got the hot hand, so she doesn't want to give her too much room, so she can't be taking too many risks. I know she was able to get her hand there on Taylor, but if Taylor was able to get that ball out quickly without being disruptive by Poe, I'm sure Reed was going to make her pay on that three point shot. They go straight into Taylor. The turnaround's blocked by Anstey. It looks like Danong's in a 2-3 zone as well. Smith fires from the corner and she's off the mark. Planeta was had deep position in the post. Hannafin. Again, a bit like Riley, been rock solid. And the offensive foul's been drawn. Good defense by Tate, was that? That was Chernishov. 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 I can't even say it. Chernishov. We'll call her Abby. Number 13. So a great defensive play by Chernishov. And now Rangers have gone to the 1-3-1, which is a really good move. Get the ball out of Steph Reed's hands here and try not to allow it back. The foul's been called off the ball. So it was Matty Pooley. And again, lots of great young talent. Of course, a lot of these players will know each other with some of, some of these Blues on the WNBL development squad last season as well. Taylor, Reed. We've got the likes of Pooley for Rangers. Of course, Anstey. Fadlovich. The list goes on as we see. Turnover. So it's still a 15 point margin. The Blues haven't let it blow out, but they haven't been able to make the inroads that they really needed to. And with the class the Rangers have got, every minute that passes, it's just going to get harder and harder. And Blues persisting with that box and one. Nice move by Planeta. A little up and under. And they're doing a great job keeping the ball out of Cole's hands. But the rest of the Rangers team are doing a great job of capitalising on the free space they're getting. And for that, Smith does deserve some credit. She's really prevented Cole from getting that ball. Nice pass by Reed. And Chermasov having a bit of an impact. A couple of great couple of minutes. That's all she needs to do. Now she needs to make sure that Planeta gets no more points in the paint. And that hurts. If you're a Blues fan, that hurts. Big three-pointer just puts a bit more distance. And that's a tough move by Taylor. And she's going to go to the line to shoot two. And that's the, I think that's the unique thing about Planeta. She just does a great job of playing off Cole, playing off Clydesdale, playing off a couple of these youngsters. And... She doesn't, she's not ball dominant. She doesn't need the ball in her hands. She just makes very good reads. And as you can see tonight, she could score in the paint, score from the elbow, short corners, where I think she's most deadliest. But she could stretch the floor and, and hurt you from the three as well. And block some shots. She's got there three. Go. Probably changed a couple others as well. So Taylor closes the margin. Just slightly. Gilliam swings it. Hannafin down to Cole. Smith giving her absolutely no space. 
but is going to be charged with a foul. So a timeout called to Rangers. They're leading by 17 with six and a half to play in the final term. Stick with us though, because we've got the men coming up and Ash will be joining me again. But Ash, this one's nearly time to call it in the books just about. Yeah, well, six and a half minutes to go. We won't call a game just yet, but the Rangers are well on their way. And, uh, you know, the one thing I really like about Cole there, Damien, is she sees a little gap and she can get through it. <laughs> she sees it and she's going to make sure she fights her way through it. And well, she had 15 points to half time. She only has three points in the second half. And the Blues have done a great job, and, and Smith has done a fantastic job of trying to deny her the ball, but... As Cole, as talented as she is, she is going to find a way to score, as we could see. And well, she's fine. now decided, OK, if they're going to deny me the ball on the perimeter, I'm going to take you into the post. And that's just the type of versatility she has. But she's had great support. Colleen Planeta, she's up to 18 points to join Cole. Clydesdale's got 13. Fadlovich has 11. And you sort of touched on it before. The points off the bench, they've only got five points off the bench, but their stars are getting it done. On the flip side, it's been Steph Reed, 21 points, 7 assists to be the leading scorer and assist getter of the game. And Taylor Lee just hasn't been able to get going, the captain. None of six from the field. And her plus minus is minus 29. That hurts. Hasn't been her night. And another miss layout by Cole there. Very out of character for her game. She's screaming at herself. Well, maybe Smith should take a bit of credit. She's probably frustrated her into that. Yeah, absolutely. And it, you know, Smith hasn't been able to get going offensively. But she's done her job, DK. And again, like Cole still has, she still has the AT point. She's had a hell of a game. She's just kind of looking at her wounds there, wishing she had those two <laughs> miss layers, open layers that she's had. But still a heck of a game by Cole. So Reed makes no mistake. Making both of the line. Back to 15. Planeta. Taylor hit ahead there. Yeah, she's nodding. She's saying she's okay. There's going to be Planeta going back to the line. Again, you talk about Planeta, just a model of efficiency for the Rangers. Doesn't need many touches and gets the job done when she does. So, of course, this game gets all things moving here in round four of NBL 1. Anzac Day Eve, the traditional clash between the Rangers and the Blues. Of course, previously it was in the Seabull. And makes no mistake there. 20 points for Planeta now leads the Rangers. Danong sticking to their 1 3 1 zone. Another turnover for the Blues. So that 1 3 1 has, has proved to be very disruptive right now. And they've just got the ball out of Reed's hands. I really like the move by Coach White there. And the Blues need to find a way, find a way to get through those gaps. Well, it's Good as the Rangers guards are, as we see Cole score there, they've really struggled to stay in front of Reed. That's 20 points to get so far. So Cole now up to 20 points joining Planeta. And that's better by the And Reed just goes, well, hang on a minute. I'll, I'll rack up 26, thank you. Hitting that three. 25 points and counting. And she is doing it all for the Blues. She has a seven assist as well. Oh, that's just great heads-up play by Cole. And Pooley's probably a bit unlucky not to make that. The Rangers, Cole there, especially doing a great job of drawing Taylor away from Pooley. That second rotation by Franks, it just needs to be a little bit quicker, helping Taylor if she is going to go help on that penetration. So missing the first.
Gets the second to go. She came into the game averaging almost five points a game. Reed's going to fire again. She's certainly been the hot hand and comes up with a steal courtesy of Taylor. Oh, what a dish by Reed. It was just too good. It was a great pass. A little bit low. It was a tough one to catch by Jackson, but it was the right idea by Reed. So Riley's probably stepped out for the last time, one might think, with five to play. Certainly been an encouraging debut by the youngster. Cole, kick out. Long two, short. And it's going to be Lee. Certainly hasn't been the game Lee was, would have been hoping for. Smith. There you go. Probably a bit late, but certainly when she can get going, as we saw against Melbourne, she can certainly light it up. Yeah, and that was a great, that was a great possession there. Good step back, timing step back. So able to create separation and you can see now she's able to shoot that three in a little bit better rhythm. Taylor's done a mountain of work and that, that really was just, she was just tired and wasn't able to stay in front. I'd, I'd go as far as to say she's probably gassed. Yeah, she's done a hell of a job tonight. She played the 31 minutes. She has 11.7 rebounds. She's trying to do it all. She's been a general at the back. She's going to love having Richards join her. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that's going to be a couple of weeks away. As she finishes her season in Spain. So Reed skip pass to Taylor. Sorry, to Lee. Couldn't handle it. Probably a bit ambitious in reality. This is the right idea. Just a little bit too much on the pass, but it's a little bit like quicksand when one thing goes wrong, another and another and another, and that just seems to be happening for the Blues right now. Oh, nice little step back there after the penetrating. Bet Cole doesn't miss many of those. She's now up to 22. Reed draws a foul. Nearly gets it to roll in. But again, watching Reed and watching Cole. Cole's got a bit more of that bully in her, but they're both able to create separation from their players. And, and they're able to play. So they're able to create that space. And most importantly, they're able to put the ball in the hole. <laughs> yeah, it <Yeah>. helps. <laughs> We've seen tonight there's there's so much talent on the court, but those two are just standing out because they're able to finish at a higher level and, and knock down the shots when it counts. So points number 28 Steph now for Steph Reed. 28 for the game, all seven foul shots. And I think that's where Reed will stay. She's now gone to the bench. Well, she's really carried her team on her shoulders tonight. Her and Taylor have done a mountain of work. And it's probably the reason why they're both involved in the WNBL program. So good defensive play by the Blues. See some force a turnover. Smith. Short. Fadlovic wide open for three. You can't leave a player of that quality open. So the margin now is blown out to 20. Bora just trying to battle her way in against Fadlovic. Draws a foul. Both teams over the limit. So again, what, not many empty seats though here at Frankston tonight. They've certainly been entertained by some quality no, talent on the court. But it's the Rangers of just their class of just and their depth has just been a little bit too much for them tonight. And of course, we've got the men coming up shortly as well. And some fantastic young talent in both teams. I 
think from my last count, there's at least six former Australian junior players that are going to be taken to the court. Oh, and some current. And current yeah. Australian junior players. Yes, of course, the Rangers have got Kelly Le Pepe and Tyler Robertson, who are both going to be suiting up at the Under-19 Worlds. And Sam Proley. Oh, yes. Isn't that going to be exciting? How can we forget Sam Froling? What a debut he had as well. Cole taps it out. Clydesdale. Oh, look at the extra pass. Lopez can't get it to go. Planeta, though, with the offensive board. Cole. Tough move. She's just so hard to guard. That was going left, pull up, right hand shot. That is a tough shot to make. And she makes it look so easy. Lee turns it over. Clydesdale running the break. And she's short. And that's just persistence for the Blues there, paying off as Chermasov finishes that foray. Cole wide open from the air, from the wing and she keeps filling it up. We talked about her being restricted. It feels like it was just three minutes ago. We said she'd only had three points to that point in this half. Well, just like that, Beck Cole has 27 and she's only five off her season average. Yeah, she just said, Damien, don't ever talk. Don't ever say that about me again. I am good. <laughs> and she knows it. Oh, yes. Hey, she just such a talented player. She's just showing how, why she's averaging 32 points a game because she could just score in so many variety of ways. So the three's off target. Bora tried to keep it alive. And it's Gilliam now, settling things down. But imagine a player like Cole if she never had those knee injuries. Yeah, that, you, you, you wonder, and, and, and one of those things, and how good is she now that she's come back? And credit to her to come back from that and play basketball like the way she is. So Bora somehow finds the ball in her hand. Good she's going to go all the way. It's good to see the young players from both teams now on the court. Blues ball. A couple of young Franks and Blues players getting some time. Number nine, Zoe Schoenfelder. I finally got a name right, Damien. <laughs> He's been given the thumbs up behind the scenes. Oh, that's a tough shot. Chermasov gets it back. Mid-range is off target. And it's Lopez for the Rangers as we're inside the final 40 seconds of this round four clash. It's going to be a Rangers victory. They're going to maintain their unbeaten start to the season. It's going to be 5 and 0. Oh. So the Rangers will be backing up on Saturday night against the Melbourne Tigers at home. While on Saturday night also it's going to be the Blues heading to the graveyard, taking on the Spectres. I'll be calling that game. That's a tough place to play, the graveyard. They have a great atmosphere there. As we, Oh, that's a tough miss. It all opened up for Fiamengo. She couldn't get it to go. Lopez. A little leaner. And the youngster. Oh, just a bit overawed. Anstey. Oh, she misses the wide open layup. But it's all over. It's a big win to the Danny Nong Rangers here in round four. It's an 87 to 63 win. And Ash, it's hard to look past the stars, isn't it? We talked about it before the game. That three headed monster and Planeta, Cole and Clyde star. Well, they just showed why they beat so dominant in the first four games of the year. And uh, the, you know, the Blues had trouble gardening tonight, and they're not going to be the only team this year that's going to have trouble gardening. Clydesdale, you know, 13 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds, just doing a bit of everything. And then Cole and Planeta, 
just hitting the scoreboard. Well, Cole, 27 points. 7 to 12 from the field, 3 of 5 from downtown. She also had 4 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, just to do a bit of everything. But Planeta, what a foil she was. 8 of 12 from the field, perfect 1 of 1 from downtown. Hit all 5 of her free throws, 5 rebounds, 3 blocks. And despite all that work that Taylor did for the Blues, she still was able to rise to the occasion. And and how good is it? you got someone like a Rosie uh, Fadlovich who just comes in and... and 14 and 8. 14 and 8. And you could see her veteran just on defence too. Her, the veteran moves and, and and the savviness from her was, was huge at the defensive end. And, and you got the youngsters who come in for Danny Dong. And so the bright shining line for the Blues, of course, was Steph Reed. 9 of 16 from the field, 3 of 8 from downtown, 7 of 7 from the line, 28 points a game high. She also had 3 rebounds, 7 assists. And to be fair to her, she could have easily had 15 or 16 assists if some of those open shots had gone down. A couple of steals. She was certainly phenomenal. And, the, and Taylor, again, did a mountain of work. We spoke about what the role she played. She was gassed at the end. 11 points, 7 rebounds, and 3... Uh, she, um, she was just everywhere, I guess. It was a tough night, though, for the import and Taylor Lee. Smith had seven points. Certainly was scoreless early. Did a great job at Cole, particularly throughout the sec uh, sorry, the third and the start of the fourth quarters on limiting Cole. And, of course, then Cole just said, hang on a minute, can't, can't do that. Yeah. And, and that credit to Smith. She tried everything she could to deny the ball, but when you have a quality player like Cole, you can't keep her away from scoring and... And yeah, she found her shot in the second half, Damien. She found it. Now she, she needs to go into the next couple of games with that type of rhythm. And Frankson over the next couple of weeks, they added in Erin Riley today. And she, she came into the team seamlessly. And they're going to look for the same for those couple of two players coming in a couple of weeks. And Coach May will be very happy to see them. Certainly will. It's been a great night of basketball here with the women. We've got the men coming up shortly. So we'll end our coverage of this game now. It's a big win to the Rangers. And, of course, we've got the men coming up here and Anzac Day Eve to round out the opening night of Round 4 NBL 1. We'll be back with you shortly.